here back at NASA. Um, basically we didn't get everything that we wanted to get done the other day. So we've come back and you can upgrade your tickets to a year long pass, which is, um, I think it's about an extra $25 per person. So it works out cheaper than buying another whole um, emission ticket. Kennedy Space Center knows adventure on a grand scale. That building has eight acres of floor space, all compacted to carry over a 20 million pound load that's going to be imposed on it. Watch a platform that was used to launch the shuttle. That's a nine million pound structure and it's one of two. And it just happens to be sitting on top of Hubble Launcher Crow. That's a six million pound vehicle, one of the largest track vehicles ever made. It's powered by four very large diesel engines. It's all diesel electric. And it travels at one mile per hour when it's loaded and two miles per hour when it's unloaded. It doesn't get very good mileage, however. It only travels 32 feet per gallon. Our new rocket, by the way, stands 321 feet tall and weighs 5.5 million pounds. That's 2.5 million pounds heavier than the shuttle was when it was fully loaded. You see that water tower out there? That water tower holds 300,000 gallons of water. And the pipeline holds an additional 100,000 gallons. The purpose for that water is for sound suppression. Because the shock wave and the decibel rating that comes off those rocket engines and solid rocket boosters is so loud and deadly that it can kill a human being. It can also damage sensitive equipment aboard the rocket. Interesting part of that 400,000 gallons of water is it all gets released in 20 seconds during a launch. These are our portable blast doors. They have a ceramic plate on the front of them. It's capable of withstanding 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see, the way that rocket blast has literally melted the surface of that structure. You just think that that rocket blast is only momentary. Liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen is one of our hottest known flames. You can see on both doors the effect that that rocket blast has. Because we're assembling our new rocket in there, even as we speak. And you see those little door panels going up. You know that each one of those weighs 37 tons. That's a pretty substantial building. Been through a lot of hurricanes with minimal damage. These are made runway. One of the largest paved runways in the world. If you were to stand in the middle of that runway, you wouldn't be able to see either end of it due to the curvature of the Earth. That's where the shuttle lands over there. And when the shuttle does a deorbit burn, it's a computer controlled fall through the atmosphere. That's where it generates a lot of heat. And when it reaches 80,000 feet in altitude above the Earth, the commander takes over and flies the shuttle and lands it right here, just very runway, which runs parallel to this road, just on the other side of those trees. And low when he or she is coming in, because she's flying faster than the speed of sound, and as she shatters the sound barrier, gives out two tremendous sonic booms that literally shake the earth. Note that the touchdown speed somewhere around 250 miles per hour. We're doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before.
It was a few days before Christmas, 1968, when Apollo 8 sat on the pen. She was the first of a new kind, a moon rocket. Okay, so we've got our annual passes. Um, so that basically means that we can come back at any point within the year. Um, it was just an additional $26, I think. So um, a normal basic entry ticket is about 50 something dollars. Um, and because we come within the last week, um, they deducted the, the cost of our ticket off the annual pass. So it worked out a lot cheaper. And we've been able to come back, do the bus tour. Um, and I'm currently stood behind the Saturn V rocket. So yeah, it's really good so far. Glad that we've paid the additional $25 to, to upgrade. So, um, so much to see here, it's unbelievable. Do. We're gonna go see the moon. No, touch the moon. Or touch the moon. I don't know. I don't know. Touch the moon. And then touch the moon. Is that actually the moon, or is it just someone's old work surface in their kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just after we had landed, I'd gone down standing on the surface and looking at planet Earth for the first time, uh, seeing the beauty, seeing the, the finiteness of it, the, the limits of it, uh, and realizing what a shame it was that people were confronting each other on that planet without realizing what it was doing to the planet. <laughs> It was a very emotional moment for me. I actually shed a couple of tears. Uh, something totally unexpected for for an engineer and fighter pilot to be to be crying up quietly up there on the moon. I've only done one mission. We've just finished at the main section of um, Kennedy Space Centre, but there's the Astronauts Hall of Fame further up the road, which is included in the ticket price. So we're just going there now. Um, we basically had to decide whether to go watch the second IMAX. Um, film that they have basically there's one on um, Hubble and there's one on the space station we 
watched the Hubble one the other day, which was incredible. So ideally, we did want to go see the Space Station one, but yeah, um, we thought that we'd go to the Astronaut Hall of Fame instead. So even after two days, we haven't got it all done. And the, um, what was the other one called? Saturn V. Saturn V Centre. Um, we didn't really spend that long there, actually. We were we're only there probably about an hour. There's um, two um, like cinema sort of theatre reproduction things that you go into um, and the rest is all about um, Saturn V and the various Apollo missions. So yeah we could have spent a lot longer there than what we did um, but we were obviously aware that we still had to do um, things back at the Kennedy Space Centre and the Astronaut Hall of Fame. So, um, really worth the, the ticket price, but I would highly recommend trying to get here for opening time. Um, and it looks like you won't leave until um, closing time, which currently is 5 pm. Um, so, yeah, we're just on our way to the Astronauts Hall of Fame.
are, the east coast where we are at the moment, the sea is quite cold. So, 